Hey guys, Andrew McFarland from StartagySpar.com here. Hope you guys are happy and healthy, excited to launch your business or grow your existing business. Today we are talking about juice business subscription models. I've got a lot to say about it. Some of it might be controversial, so you're going to want to stay tuned. But before we dive in, if you're new, you don't know who I am or what we do. Over the last 12 years, myself and our company has had the pleasure of supporting hundreds of people all over the world launch and scale successful juice concepts, smoothie concepts, acai bowl businesses, food trucks, you name it, we've done it. We've also run our own businesses. So all the information in this and on this channel is coming from that wealth of experience. Early invitation, press the like button. I promise you'll like it more. Questions or comments, you know where they go. Subscribe to the channel. Now let's dive in, okay? So you're thinking about should I, shouldn't I? Maybe you already have a subscription juice business and you're like, hey, things aren't going well. What's going on? I want to talk about this, okay? I talk to a lot of people who are thinking about this. They pitch this idea to me. Hey, Andrew, I want to do a subscription juice business and have people subscribe. I'll deliver juice to them weekly. It'll be great. Now, I want to say that it's not everything that I'm going to tell you. First and foremost, it's not to say that you can't find people who will subscribe to your juice service. You will. A lot of times there will be people who are single mothers or mothers with families who have husband, kids, whatever. You know, sometimes the fathers, if they are responsible for these kinds of things, but there are people who want to make their life more convenient and don't want to think about having to order juice every Monday. They're like, I just wanted to show up. It's there. I have a family, but 101 things going on. I don't want to think about having to order juice. And for these people, oftentimes a juice subscription is not a bad deal. But what I also want to say is that you have a lot of challenges and reasons that people would not want to uh, participate in a juice subscription. The first one is what happens when this person, because with physical goods, it's not like a Netflix subscription, right? Or Amazon subscription where you can use it anywhere. It's just there. You pay for it. With food, if I go out of town and I forget to cancel my juice subscription, now I have juice sitting on my porch. It's spoiled. I'm like, oh man. Or, you know, I ended up with too much juice or I didn't want that juice that was part of my subscription. The whole point in any service oftentimes is convenience. And if you are in a market where people can literally just hop on an app, Uber Eats, Grubhub, whatever it is, and get their juice that they want in 30 minutes, give or take, 30 minutes to an hour, you really have to ask yourself, why are people going to subscribe to your juice subscription? If you really ask yourself this question sincerely, you might not come up with any really good reasons for this. So, the point of why I find a lot of times people are trying to offer juice subscriptions is more so for the business owner's convenience and not for the consumer's convenience. They think it would be good for me if I got people to subscribe to my juice business and my, my weekly delivery or whatever else it is. But for the customer, they're like, why would I do that? I can get online at any point and just get juice in 30 minutes to an hour. Why would I subscribe and pay you either upfront for a month worth of juice Unless you're going to give them a discount or some other incentive, I'm really thinking to myself, why would I subscribe to your juice delivery service? Now, that's why you have to think through this and make it compelling. The only thing that I can really think of that would maybe make someone do some sort of subscription is if you had really clear, tangible health goals, right? What is their goal? They want to lose weight and you have a program that's going to help them lose weight and they just drink your juice. So in that way, they're going to be con committed to doing something that's potentially more inconvenient for themselves than convenient because it's going to help them accomplish a larger pain point in their life. But if you're in an environment where you have other juice bar businesses, you know, that they can order from in 30 minutes to an hour through any of these apps that I mentioned, it's probably not the best idea to start thinking about trying to get people on a subscription because it's not going to be very convenient for them. So that's what I want to say. I'm not here to be a dream killer. I'm just here to focus you guys on things that work and are effective. Um, if you have found success doing juice subscriptions, I'd be very curious on how you're doing it. Feel free to comment in the comment box below. What have you discovered? And when I say found success, I mean that you're highly profitable and you're doing a large volume of juice, meaning you know upwards of 50 juices a day, 100 juices a day on a juice subscription model. Most of the time, that's not how people are making money through online delivery businesses. 
Most of the time, they're doing it through cleanse programs, other things that I've mentioned on this channel before. If you need support and you really want to grow your business and you're very sincere about taking things to the next level, reach out to me personally, Andrew at SodaGSpar.com. Happy to discuss how we can help you. That's all for today. If you're here this long and you haven't liked the, the video yet, we have a problem. You need to like the video because I know you do. You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Questions or comments, comment box below. If you're not following us on Instagram, you definitely want to do that. At Starter G Spar, exclusive giveaways, exclusive content that we only release there. We have a podcast. It's called the G Spar Experts Podcast. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. Easy to find. That's it for today. Hope you guys are doing well. Wishing you a lot of success. See you in the next video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the video content. If you are inspired to learn even more about how to start your juice business from scratch, for you, we have a free ebook. It's called the 15 steps to starting your juice business. And this is going to go through a high level overview through a step-by-step -step process on how you get your business off the ground. Everything from, you know, branding, menu development, finding the right location and more. This is going to be a clear roadmap. So you know how to go from where you are all the way to opening your store. If you want to go even deeper, we've also created an online course. It's called the Juice Bar Master Blueprint. This is going to go into great depth on everything from how do you put together and think about recipe development? How do you cost out your menu and what's the math around it? What equipment do you need? How do you design your store? How do you find the right location? And so much more. I know you're going to find a lot of value out of both of these. There's links in the description below. So I hope to see you guys at the next video and enjoy.